this doesn't happen all the time. I actually kind of like it when it does happen. But right now, we are doing back-to-back -back bets for you guys because next up, we have Carlos Diego Ferreira. And he's minus 125 versus Benel Darius plus 105. Mikey Gills, I'm going to give it to you, even though you're not part of the bet. But we need to see every side. And obviously, okay. DraftKings is different, as we've many times mentioned. Uh, so I'll skip the the stylistic breakdowns. I'll just I'll focus this fight just or my breakdown just in terms of DraftKings because this is the fight at the turn. These are the eight thousand and the eighty two hundred dollar guys, and I really they're like those are the ones where we separate right in the middle of the lineups. And you, if you're putting together a slate, I always like to have one of these for Ferrero on DraftKings. Like when you look at his average scores, he's he's very finish dependent for points. We've talked about other fighters who stay busy enough with their striking to make up for it, but dating all the way back to his first fight with Darius, Ferreira averages under 60 points per decision and under 75 points for decision win. Uh, so I don't think Ferreira is going to finish Darius. So if I'm pressed to choose, I would take Benil Darius at 8,000 here. Because you look at Darius, even in decisions, he tends to be a little bit higher scoring. But I like him to, I like him to win this fight overall regardless. So at $8,000, there's just, there's just more value with Darius between these two. Like, I don't think Darius loses this fight, but even in the decision, I see him scoring higher than Ferreira. I add that line into thinking and just thinking that Darius is the more powerful striker was the better chance for a knockout. And then I'm leaning Darius even more. So this fight's going to be a make or break fight for a lot of slates out there. $8,000 Darius. I like him. Let's go. Yeah, um, I like CDF here. Uh, third degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, you know, Benil is a black belt himself. So I, to me, right away, uh, CDF's got better Jiu Jitsu, if better Jiu Jitsu than Daniel, if not equal to. So then we're going to go standing. Benil Darius, you know, he's not bad standing, but he gets himself in trouble. And like in the close fight, he almost got himself wobbled and knocked out. Uh, his chin is suspect. I, I think that it, it, it's there to be hit. And I think that, you know, him having such good jiu-jitsu gives him more confidence upstanding, and he's not going to have that this time. So my bet for this fight will be CDF uh, because I think his jiu-jitsu is more dominant, and I think that his striking has improved uh, since the last time they fought. Well, what's the odds at right now, Bob? Make sure I got the updated ones. Uh, Ferreira is minus 125. So I'll be putting down 1.25 units on uh, CDF to, uh, to absolutely dominate here. I think that he'll win a decision, though, and uh, it'll be a good fight. Yeah, I'm pretty much uh, on that train. Obviously, I think uh, since their first fight, I think Ferreira has improved more, whereas Dariush has stayed at approximately the same level, um, other than the fact that his chin has started to go. Um it's hard to say. Like Darius is another one of those guys that I was had the utmost confidence in, but after the, the recent finishes and just the streak that Ferreira is on right now, you got to keep back in a winner and keep it on that train until they the train falls off the wheels, basically. So I'm with you on Ferreira there.